so this is my second red dot set I've made, and the one of the main differences between this one and my first one is it's first of all it's made out of metal, and so I got my metal from an Easy Cheese container, and it's basically just a thick soda can, and I just unbent it and then made it in this form, and it's two pieces, this bottom piece and this top one, and the reason why there is like these gaps here and here and on the other side is just to hold the top piece onto the bottom one because glue does not stick well at all to metal um yeah so and then the second difference is it has a concave lens right here which you can see it's bent and the reason for that is so you can see if I put it on that water bottle right there um Okay, if I put it on that water bottle right there, and I look at it, go from side to side, whatever angle I'm looking at it, it's the dot is going to be on the water bottle. And the the thing is, though, like, you can see how the dot is kind of in like an oval shape. A real one, like right there, oval, a real one would have to be warped vertically, too. Mine's just horizontally. And horizontal. And... So I got my lens from this part of like an iPod packaging and it's, you know, I just bent it like this and then put it in like the flame of a stove for like a second, barely anything, and took it out. And you can see how it's bent like that, right? And it, it just got bent in this, warped in this position. So, yeah, so, I mean, it's got, you know, it, it is oval, but uh, it doesn't really bother me. I'm not going to cry about it. So, yeah, and then the battery is under here, you can s just see it in there, and to turn it off, I just pull off this wire right here, the wire just gets wedged in between this metal piece and the battery, and to take the battery out, I can just, you know, push the battery out that way. And the reason why there's a mirror between the light and the lens is... It needs to be a certain distance between the light source and what you're looking at. So, so if I just turn it around and point the light directly at the screen, I would need a much greater warp in the lens. So, all this mirror does is just put a, dis a bigger distance between the LED and the lens. That's all it does. And then the lens is just held in there with foam tape. It's just foam with sticky stuff on each side so that's all it's held in there by but so yeah that's about it so thanks for watching